Edward. Hmm? Privateering, is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Well, why not sail with the King's Navy? That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. <laughs> All right. No more than two. Promise me. I'm Edward. Much thanks for your aid back there. Adewale. <laughs> these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. By God's grace, sir, you saved me. This one's yours. Fly it proud. I will. I've made my choice, Adam. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. How can you not see me, standing out there on the deck of a ship that's sliding into port? This must take me to the Observatory, Roberts. I need to know what it is. To what end, eh? Pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. So you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. That's my prize, Roberts. I'll give it here! After all you have seen, still, you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless hawk. Change your bloody course before it's too late. What the devil? Edward! Oh, you flew in with the very kind we once hated! Do that! Will I need to give the most? Caroline! And we're in a world without gold! We might have been heroes! Remember my creed, boy. A short life but a merry one, that is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. You should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? Now we'll be again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. And what of you, Edward? Have you found the peace you seek? You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. <laughs> Your losses are far greater than ours. I'm not aiming so high as that. For what's peace but a confusion between two wars? I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees, worm. Still chasing your elusive fortune? This Tuspat is a ruined man, Caroline. If he goes to the West Indies, it's you who suffer. Father! Father! You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison, safe and sober, yet dulled beyond reason and sapped of all spirit. I want a taste of the good life, an easy life. You wear your convictions well. They suit you. No one honest does an easy life, Edward. Die. Knowing that for all of our conflict, you help make a soldier out of a scoundrel. I've lived longer than most men who trod this path. But if you continue on your present course, they'll find you're the only one walking it. Leave this life for a lasting peace. Down among the dead. Raise the black flag, lads! Let them see it! Ah! 
sat a man so driven by personal gain and glory to heart. Welcome aboard, Ken White. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father too. <laughs>